Welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today I'm going to be talking about Robo Recall on the Oculus Quest. Now, Robo Recall is one of the most anticipated titles coming to Quest, and I managed to get my hands on the game yesterday at a private Oculus event in London. Now, sadly, I wasn't able to capture any gameplay of the game itself, but I can talk you through my experience and how I feel it compares to the Oculus Rift version of the game. This event in London was set up very differently to what we experienced at PAX a couple of weeks ago, as no gameplay was able to be recorded whatsoever, and of course, this included Robo Recall. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the developer porting the game to the Quest, the graphics, the audio, my experience with the game, and most importantly, the gameplay. I'll be putting up some Rift gameplay of Robo Recall while I talk about the game, so you can get a sense of what the game is like if you've never seen or heard of it before. If you've got any questions about Robo Recall or the Quest, put them in the comments down below and I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. Now I hope you guys and girls enjoy this one and without further ado, let's dive in. So let's start with a quick history lesson on Robo Recall. The game originally released for the Oculus Rift on the 1st of March 2017 and was provided as a free game for those that bought the Oculus Touch controllers. The game was developed by Epic Games who also created the Unreal Engine the game runs on and it was regarded as one of the most polished looking VR games for its time and this accolade still stands today. So when I heard that Robo Recall was coming to the Quest during Oculus Connect 5, it got me really excited. Handling the port over to Quest is VR veteran studio Drifter. They previously made the fun co-op looter shooter Gunheart and the short Ready Player One experience called Rise of the Gunters. The CEO of Drifter, Ray Davis, used to work at Epic Games and was responsible for Robo Recall's concept game called Bullet Train. So in terms of experience, there isn't a better third party studio to handle the game's move to Quest than Drifter Entertainment. So let's get on to the burning question first. What does Robo Recall look like on the Oculus Quest? Well, if you've played Robo Recall on Rift, you'll clearly see the sacrifices that had to be made to bring the game to the standalone headset. Environment and model textures have been compressed and don't benefit from the same gorgeous lighting effects as on the PC version. So enemy models and cars that litter the streets look a bit dull in comparison. Other finer details are missing altogether. You no longer have puddles of water on the streets providing beautiful reflections and gun models don't have the same moving clips underneath them and a lot of the particle effects from shooting and hitting enemies have been greatly reduced. Now the official screenshots provided recently are of course the best possible scenario and taken in the best locations and conditions and they don't show the gameplay itself. So to set people's expectations appropriately, it would be wrong of me to say that the game looks as good as the screenshots provided. The clip shown in the recent Oculus Quest trailer is much more accurate with what the game actually looks like when you're playing it. But of course, like all games in VR, it looks way better in the headset than what could ever be represented in a short video clip. What the clip and the screenshots don't convey is that in the headset, you have this awesome sense of scale of being on the streets of a huge city with robots running and jumping between rooftops in the distance. So yeah, of course, overall, it's a visual downgrade from the Rift version. However, with that said, what's really important here is not necessarily what the game looks like, but how it plays. And I'm happy to report it plays great. So let's move on to the gameplay. The game has clearly been ported over to the Quest with love and everything feels just like Robo Recall should. You start the game in the same agent office in which you can freely move around to explore and there's a powered down enemy at the back which you can pull apart piece by piece just like you can on the Rift. You then move on to the briefing area where you can use the shooting range to hone your skills, choose weapons, unlock upgrades and select missions. When you get on the streets you can finally grab your dual wielded pistols which are mounted on your waist or your backup weapons from each one of your shoulders. The tracking system of the Oculus Quest did an amazing job here and I didn't experience any tracking issues throughout my 20 minute demo. The missions felt exactly the same as the ones on PC with the same amount of enemies present on the streets to dispatch. Getting up close and personal and grabbing the robot's handles feels great and you can pull them apart limb by limb. 
You can use them as a shield for incoming fire or throw them back at their robo colleagues. The gameplay mechanic of dodging and plucking bullets from the air and returning them to their sender is present and still as satisfying as ever. Teleportation is the main locomotion method, just like the original game, where you can teleport and then use the thumbstick to choose which direction you want to face. But once you're at a location, you can move around and freely turn as you wish. And this is where you have a real big bonus of playing the game on the quest over the rift. You get the freedom of movement. Robo Recall is a game where enemies are constantly coming at you from all angles, and it felt liberating to freely move around the play space to dodge incoming fire and freely spin around 360 without getting tangled up in wires. And let's not forget the audio here, because the audio in Robo Recall is excellent. The thumping guitar shredding soundtrack is still present, with the same funny voiceover lines and the quips from the robots themselves as you tear them to pieces. So here's my conclusion. Robo Recall on the Quest is not as pretty and doesn't run as butter smooth as the Rift version, but what it lacks in graphics, it makes up for in the freedom the Quest provides being tetherless. This is a true port handled with love and care by Drifter, and I think they've done an amazing job of bringing the game to the Quest without making any compromises on the gameplay itself. I think those new and old to Robo Recall will enjoy the game when it releases in Spring 2019 on the Oculus Quest. Okay, so there we have it guys and girls. That's my hands-on experience with Robo Recall on the Oculus Quest. Now in a nutshell, it's the same game we know and love with some sacrifices in the graphics department. But overall, am I excited for it? Hell yeah. This is still Robo Recall at heart and I'm super happy that we can have this on the Oculus Quest. I'd rather have a hit on graphics than not have it on the Quest at all, put it that way. I know it's difficult to make an informed decision without seeing any gameplay of the game itself, but I think a lot of Quest owners are going to really enjoy this title on release. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for Robo Recall on the Quest? Are you, like me, disappointed that we couldn't show any gameplay of the game? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video, make sure you're subscribed for all my future content, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.